to the Jimmy and Tim Live Five Show, where we are living live on Jimmy Tay. And I'm Alexis Nuggets. The bees have a new look for this season. And there's more to the tiny ants than ever before. Stay tuned for these buggy stories. Will the temperature rise or will it stay constant? And how are Tisha Girls Soccer doing? All of this and much more. In about 30 seconds. In case you didn't hear it yesterday, we have the daily update for Spirit Counts. In first place is Mr. Hamamura with 100 points. And second place is Mrs. Burke with 91 points. And third, point, third place is Miss Nogal with 90 points. And the rest is just Miss Kyra and um, Mrs. Reagan with 83 points and 76 points. Congratulations to everyone who participated. Last Tuesday, you received a flyer about the PTSA fundraiser. Please take the flyer to your parents. PTSA is raising money to help purchase a new sound system for our auditorium. Place the donations in the envelope attached to the flyer and bring them back to your homeroom teacher. All of the money is due on Friday. The homeroom with the most participation will receive a, will receive a pizza party. New Scholastic order forms have gone out to your English teacher. Be sure to pick one up. Book orders will go out every day, every Friday this month. Cash or checks made out to Scholastics are accepted. For questions, head on to the library to see Ms. Espinosa. Be sure to bring your wallet and your appetite after school on Thursday outside of the auditorium for some cheesy goodness. Chips and cheese are $2 and water is $1. International Society will be having their end of the semester luncheon today in room 307 at lunch. Be sure to be there at lunch in room 307 for the luncheon. The Haskell Mustangs and Tetzloff Trojans are going head-to-head -to -head tomorrow. The boys' basketball and the girls' soccer team will play on Haskell's home field tomorrow after school. And the game will start at 3. Show them what you're made of, Trojans. Most people think of bees as yellow, but that's not the case with one New York woman. Cerise Mayo raises red bees, I mean not red bees, bees in Red, Book, red Hook, Brooklyn. One day, one day her bees came home with a mysterious color. Instead of being a normal orange yellow, they came back red. She also noticed their hives were a little cherry color. The workers at the Marashino Cherry Juice Factory near her house said they saw a few bees around the factory. Friends of Cerise teased her that the bees have been drinking cherry juice, so she took them to a, a bee professional. The bees were tested and coincidentally they had been having the same dye, number 40, that is in the Marashino cherry juice. The, mis the mystery has been solved. Because the bees drank cherry juice, it caused them to turn red. Now that's a juicy story. That's really weird. Yeah. Alright, here's a cool fact. Yeah. Did you know that a worker ant can live for about 45 to 60 days? The queen ant can live for about 20 years. The queen ant, or here's another weird fact. Ant makes, ants make up about one-tenth of the world's animal tissue. Fifty million years ago, ants began farming. Each ant has two strong jaws and an armored body called an exoskeleton. Like other insects, ants have six legs, each one having three joints. Ants are clean and tidy bugs. Each colony of ants has their own smell so that in case one gets lost, the ant can, find, can smell his colony and find his way home. Here's another awesome fact. If one of the worker ants finds food, they will leave a trail so its colony can find, can find it. There are so many facts about one small insect. Oh, now it's time for your Daily Dispatch, where Gwendolyn Lau brings you today's epic fail. Hello, I'm Gwendolyn Lau, and this week's epic fail is about even more funnier fails. Let's check it out.
everybody. I'll see you next week for more Epic Veils. Taking a look at Tetzloff's calendar, today is the International Society Luncheon. Tomorrow is Tetzloff Trojan Pride Day. Thursday, Cheesy Goodness is going to be sold after school, and College Making It Happen is at 6.30 p.m. And there's no school on Friday for Student Free Day. Yay! And that wraps up the ongoing events. Now let's go to Victoria Lee with the weather. Good morning, Victoria. Good morning, Alexis. It's going to be sunny for the rest of the week, so with high and low 70s, and also same thing in the morning, it's high 40s. So there's not much of a big difference. So let's take a look at the map. West Coast is still sunny, so it's going to be OK, because it's like all sunny all along it. And it's going to be still snowing around the Great Lakes and also up in um, Maine. And it's also going to get warmer near um, the Great Lakes, too. Well, and down in Texas, it's going to be cloudy and all that. Let's take a look at the Friday forecast. It's going to be sunny for the rest of the week with high and low 70s and high 40s in the morning. Let's bring it over to Tristan with the Wolf Pool. Thanks, Victoria. Well, for today's Wolf Pool, is Darcy. Now let's get more her comments and thoughts on. So, hi, Darcy. Hi. How are you? <laughs> good. That's good. Well, could you read the Wolf Pool? Sure. Should students be required to dress out for PE? Well, this is something of you guys told us. Yes, some clothes aren't PE appropriate. <laughs> another, another, uh, yeah. another one of you guys said no, changing waste of time. Well, we want to hear all your comments <coughs> about campaign. Be sure to visit online livefastshow.com to vote. Send your comments to what poll, livefastshow.com, and if your comments are good, we'll read it on the end. So, so, so Darcy, what do you think? Um, yeah, I think we should be able to we should dress out for PE. Oh, okay. Well, thank you. Uh, I'd like to give a shout out to Amanda Kim. I'll give a shout out to Chris, Jordan Morales, Karen Skiba, and Isaiah, aka, AKA Cripple. <laughs> and Gwendolyn Lau. <laughs> well, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's some of my time for the answers. And Tim, you guys have a nice day, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Back to you, Jimmy. Thank you, Tristan. Well, it's now time to swing into action with your one and only, Aaron. Good morning, Aaron. How are you doing? Back from the North Boat to South Boat and everything in between, this is your Live in 5 Sports. I'm Aaron. In hockey last night, the LA Kings defeated the Boston Bruins 2-0. Wow, they weren't even able to get on the scoreboard. Ryan Smith scored his first power play goal in eight games, and Andre Lokitanov added another. The Kings have won two straight games after going 3-13 in their previous 16. It is also their fifth straight victory against the Bruins. And here's something I don't talk about a lot, girls high school soccer. Last Friday, Artesia High School soccer dominated the perennial champions Mayfair High 5-1. It is the program's first win against Mayfair. Wow. You better be, are you ready? Because this Friday, they're playing against La Mirada. This game is what should determine the league title. I hope Artesia does great. That's it for today, folks. But I'd like to give a shout out to Grace Um and Michelle Tolentino again because they didn't hear last Friday. Okay, back to you. Yeah. Thank you, Erin. It's time to test your knowledge of today's Daily Born on One. How long does it take for light to travel from the sun's surface to Earth? One minute and eight seconds, five minutes and 31 seconds, eight minutes and 17 seconds, or 10 minutes and 59 seconds. Take five. I think, I think it's eight. I thought it was like, oh, five seconds or something like that. I think it's, oh, I got it right. Eight minutes? Dude, that's it's long. long. So. You know what I could do in eight minutes? I could get dressed and put on my makeup in seven minutes. Seven minutes? You know, I know a girl that can do makeup for like an hour and she still didn't look that great. Well, whatever. <gasps> okay. You're mean. <laughs> well, you don't know what she, who she is, so. Visit our website to watch today's broadcast online at 115show.com and follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. That's the end of today's show. We'll see you back here tomorrow.